Western Australia has recorded no new locally acquired cases of COVID-19 for the second day in a row. The state is still under a strict lockdown, though, after a security guard who worked in hotel quarantine tested positive for the virus over the weekend. Now, it's not yet known how the man was infected, but today it's been revealed that guards are not always required to wear face masks, even when working on floors with COVID-positive guests. Joining us now is Western Australia's opposition leader, Zach Kirkup. Zach, good morning to you. Now, uh, we just heard Koshi's interview then. You, you're doing it very tough in the West at the moment. COVID and bushfires, possible cyclone hitting this afternoon. How are people holding up, firstly? Well, West Australians are very resilient. Uh, you're right, there's a lot of things going on and we're all getting through it together. OK, so the newspapers this morning, um, more criticism around WA's hotel quarantine system and this announcement that uh, not all guards are required to wear masks at some points there, it's OK if they carry them in their hands. When you saw these reports, when you saw that press conference yesterday, what did you think? Oh, it's, it's very surprising and somewhat shocking, really, to think that guards didn't have to have that personal protective equipment on and they're on the same floor and helping uh, COVID-positive uh, travellers who have returned back to WA. It's um, really shocking and this is obviously one of the flaws that have been found uh, across the country in hotel quarantine. And we also have the added problem that here in WA there was no ban on second jobs either, something we haven't learnt from South Australia or Victoria. So... WA has had the longest time to prepare for this. We've unfortunately found quite a significant breach and now we're in a five-day lockdown. Yes, so um, what would you be doing differently if you were the Premier of the state right now? Well, we'd, we'd put an immediate ban on second jobs. Uh, we've put a, a request in to have a 24-hour testing clinic. We've demanded the government put that together as well. And, of course, you'd want to make sure that the hotel quarantine workers are all wearing PPE, regardless of where they are. The front door of the hotel, up on the same floor as those travellers. I think all of us would have expected uh, that they would have had their masks on and the full kit and to see that that hasn't happened. And if that's a reason why this is now out in the community, that's a huge concern for us. Yeah, um, Zach, WA has been very strict, one of the strictest states with its borders this year. Um, do you, would you say the Premier has overreacted given that hotel quarantine, leaks out of hotel quarantine, seem to be the source of most new infections in Australia? Well, we've supported, as the Liberal Party, the Chief Health Officer's advice 100% of the way. We're not uh, at all questioning that, and I think what we see here is a failure to implement that advice properly. So, uh, in WA, you're right, we have been very strict compared to other states, but we need to make sure we keep West Australians safe. Uh, but unfortunately now the breakdown seems to have been uh, saying that there's a hotel quarantine breach here and it's simply put all of us at risk, and that's what this fear is now about just the extent of it. So the lockdown is important to make sure we stay on top of it and, of course, we want to make sure that everyone does stay safe and get tested. Yeah, absolutely. OK, Zach Kirkup, we wish you all the best in Perth. Thanks for your time.